welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch and pitching in this game, Kodai Senga. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Brooke, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. Ronald Acuna Jr. stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Going two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. And the 0-2. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. Here's Austin Riley. That hey. one's in there. It's 0-1. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Now he breaks his bat. McNeil slings the first quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. And now Matt Olson up to hit. He swings and fouls one off. Matt Olson, he's one of those guys with light tower power from the left side. You know, reached 100 career home runs in less than 400 games played. Jack Swing went around. And the count one and two. Yeah, you know, Chris, only 10 other players have ever accomplished that milestone so quickly. And I am not going to list them right now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. It's the Braves nothing. Mets coming to bat. Major. Back here at the ballpark, getting the nod on the mound, Spencer Strider. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Harris has a beat on it. Two away now. Two outs, bases empty. Starling Marte up to him. Up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Here's Brandon Nimmo. And it's fouled away. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. Next offering upstairs. At the belt and fires. Ball, that's inside. Line drive, and that's a base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. 
couple of singles back to back. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Marte at second. Nimmo on at first with two down. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the right hander deals. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. And the next pitch is way outside. First and second, two down. Line drive, that's a base hit. Marte is waved home. Throw comes into third. Oh, caught up in a rundown now. And they tag him out. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's a speed threat. Michael Harris. Senga back to work. All one there. All one, no strike. There's a strike. Aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a guy out there coming at you with high velocity. Got it by him for the K. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The punch out there two out well he's really dialed in and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm maybe it's square around the bond step out of the box agitate him a little bit do something that just changes what's happening right now because this pace is going to be a long game so you got to figure it out quickly Next offering misses, ball one. It's a good take. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down. Back here in Queens, now the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. The wind of the pitch. That's in for a strike. Strider he gets a lot of swing and miss and he keeps the ball in the yard not to mention the fact not too many hits either next one misses one ball one strike even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time and he's an exception yeah and even with those home runs if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths then those home runs are solo shots but to this point he hasn't had to worry about it ripped on a line Puts it away for the out. You look at what the elite guys do. They strike guys out. They limit walks. And they limit the ball going out of the park. Tommy Pham nope. in the box with one away nope. as he takes ball one. So two balls and no strikes. Yeah, all you want is a guy like that. Take the ball every fifth day. Go out there. Hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. Swing and a miss. Now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle, but I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Takes it himself. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. 
Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. And strike two. Ahead 0 2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. The next offering misses. 1 and 2 to count. That's out to center field. Harris makes the catch, and that is that. Nothing. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Senga back to work. Just missed. Ozuna, the left fielder with good range, 32 years old, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. And a pitch. And a count one and two. And that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in, into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Vaughn Grissom in the box now. Takes strike one. That's towards center. Brings it in, and there's one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's Kevin Pillar. That one's in there on one. Oh, this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. And it finds its way through for a hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. A one down. And a swing and a miss there. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Got him! Huge strike out there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just gotta let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Brett Beatty. The other way, and foul ball. Beatty hitting ninth in today's lineup. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. And now the count is even. A little bit of a day off for him. Instead of being at the hot corner, he can just kind of put the batting gloves on, hold the bat as he sits on the bench, waiting for his time to hit. That misses the zone, and the count to a noir. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. The throw into second. And he's into second with nobody out. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Alonso now at the plate as he swings through strike one.
Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? Haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. His favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Next offering way off the plate. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. Runner leads away at second. And down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's Starling Marte. Reached on an infield single his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Marte goes six foot one, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Swing and a ball popped up, and it hops over the wall for an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run, and that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Bounced out to short. Goes to first. Oh, Save. That. And there are runners at the corners. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Back here at City Field, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Matt Olson. The pitch. That's in there. 0 and 1. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Matt Olson, a guy who grew up in the Atlanta area, went to the same high school that produced Jeff Francoeur. And in fact, Jeff's mom was one of Matt Olson's teachers in grade school. Alvarez makes the grab one away. Harris stands in here, tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Into the outfield, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Murphy in the box now. No balls and a strike. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Next offering is downstairs. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the That's skipper cool. puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Harris stands at first with runner, one out. Runner, runner. Here's the pitch. Runner goes and fouled off. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Nasty fourth ball for strike three. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. Next nope. offering is down low. Ball one. Ziggy, how about this? Ozzy speaks four languages, English, Spanish, Dutch, and Papiamentu. Well, with the way the game's expanding, that can be very helpful. Those meetings at the mound. Ozzy Albies, he can uh, translate for everyone.
kicks and fires. Got him. That's his second strikeout. One. And welcome back. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. The wind of the pitch. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Fam, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Boom, that's cheddar, baby. The 0-2. On the ground. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Oh, the throw is wild. So, man aboard, Francisco Alvarez. Up now for the Mets. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Sliced hard, but foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there are two outs. Now it's the DH. Brett Beatty doubled his first time up. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Fam leads off first with two down to the inning. In the air, left field, down the line. That's down, one hops off the wall. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's gonna wanna leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. Here's Pete Alonso. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. And that's a foul ball. If he can get through this one, Put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. A right-hander is up and throwing. That missed one inside. Two, now one and two. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Swing and a miss struck him out. Blew the ex. We go to the top of the fifth. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. And the right hater back to work. And that's outside. You know, these Braves, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. The next pitch misses. Three balls, no strikes. There's the strike, three and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouls one away, and now three and two. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's just foul. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another. And a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Ground ball, left side, Lindor. 
Tosses to first. One away here in the fifth. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his back down. Just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. And that's going to roll to the wall. Throws to second. And he's got a double. He was all over that one. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the. Now here is Kevin Pilar. That misses. One and oh. Down the line towards the corner. And that one hops the wall. The run comes in from second, and it's a one run game. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Deal two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Struck him out looking. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. In there and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next one just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. At second with two down. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and the man left. Last half of the bottom of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Lindor. The wide to kick the pitch. On the ground right side. And it gets by him. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Nimmo, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. To first, maybe a two ball. Olsen over to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Jeff McNeil stands in. One for two. Ah. 
That one finds the zone. Strike one. Left hand batter waits. Strike two. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And now one and two. Swing and a ball popped up. And a base hit knocks in a run. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. And the batter now, Eduardo Escobar. And first offering is fouled off. McNeil off of first with two away. Ground ball, Austin Riley. They get the force, and that is that. Back here in Queens, all set for the top of the six. A new pitcher in the game, Drew Smith. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And he deals. 0-1. Smith. In his fifth season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a slurve, and he works in a changeup. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering is foul back. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And one and two. And another ball. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at-bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Right-handed reliever. Tapped out in front of the plate. Toss to Alonzo. And Olsen is set down. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. There's the strike. 
Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's Sean Murphy, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That's down and in. Murphy goes six feet, three inches, 28 years old. And he's a former gold glover in the American League. Next offering is fouled back. Righty delivers. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Fly ball down the line. Marte moves under it. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. So no runs, no hits. New pitcher for the Braves, Jesse Chavez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Number 60. And a pitch. Fam, the leadoff batter as he looks at ball one. Murphy makes the grab one down. Now the catcher up to hit, Francisco Alvarez. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Hit hard, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And that one wrapped foul. Chavez, he's one of those guys who uses the cut fastball as his primary offering. And when it's on, it can induce a lot of weak contact. Tag out at second. It's a double play. And Welcome back. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Smith back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And downstairs. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Foul ball. Comes the 2 2. Got him looking. And now one away. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Ozuna, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Next pitch is inside, and the count is one and two. Out to short, Lindor. Fires across the diamond, and that quickly, two away. Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Here comes the 1. And that clips the inside corner. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Braves go down quickly here. Back here at the ballpark. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. And here it comes.
Murphy makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Here's Francisco Lindor. One for three. On the ground, right side. Albies sends it to first. Lindor retire. Two outs, base is empty. Starling Marte up now for the Mets. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. That one hit to right. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And that's the third out. We're at the top of the eighth, and now the DH, Kevin Pillar. The pitch. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Next no. one off the plate inside. And one and one. And the right hander deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same. Acuna now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Right side, and it goes just foul. Kicks and fires. Next offering misses down and away. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Next pitch just misses. Two and two. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a few. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Tommy Hunter. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And there's a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Ball one. That's a little bit low. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Brave. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dylan Lee. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Base knock center field. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Step off, throw to first. Nimmo gets back easily. That one the other way. Good feed. That's one. On to first. Double play. Two outs. Space is empty. Eduardo Escobar digs in now. Liner picked on the hop at first. He steps on the bag. That is the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the first baseman, Matt Olson, And the pitch. Outside, Hunter, a 6'3 righty. He throws a cutter, a sinker, a slurb, and he works in a four-seamer. Ball to strike, the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Well, just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Next pitch misses way outside. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. McNeil gets it to first. And Olsen is set down. Michael Harris will hit next. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. That's in there. Going two now. Just missed. Goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, David Robertson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here.
Murphy at the plate with two away swings through that one. Not even close there. One and one. Liner, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Ozzy Albies next up for the Braves. This one in the dirt. The tag, and that's the ball game. Well, a four pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitters, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. And your final 3 1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.